Hey guys, welcome to Taylor Treventures, your number one source for family travel information. And today I want to talk to you about Bush Gardens in Tampa. This one is African themed. It is a super fun amusement park and I'm excited to share with you how you can make it possible with your family. In this video, I'm gonna go through the top 10 kitty attractions at Bush Gardens in Tampa. This isn't really a kitty attraction. I guess you could call it like an honorary mention, and that is this awesome parking spot that they have just for families. I've been to a lot of amusement parks and I don't see this sign at every single one. I don't see it at very many, but I appreciate that someone is thinking about us poor parents with strollers and having to push our children all the way to the gate. So thank you. Thank you, Bush Gardens, for thinking of us. First kitty attraction I'm gonna to talk to you about today is just the main kitty area. And this is usually the Sesame Street portion of Bush Gardens. And so they have this whole sesame theme. And I've gotta say, I was really impressed with the kitty area at Bush Gardens. It has the kitty coaster, and then it's also got a stage for the performing Sesame Street characters. But I really liked like the playscape they have. They have this huge tree house and these walkways in between the trees and tunnels and a splash pad. And so like forget all of the rides, the kitty rides that have actual ride operators and stuff, but just like the atmosphere there at Bush Gardens was awesome for kids. And as a parent, I also appreciate that there was only one entrance into the kitty area. And this might be kind of a pain if you're like, oh, I have to go all the way around. But for a parent, it is ideal because it keeps the kids in there and they can't go wander off to the rest of the park. And so way to go, Bush Gardens. I think you must have consulted a parent on this because it makes it a lot easier to keep track of your kids when they're all fenced in except for that one exit. Inside of the kitty area, they do have an infant and family care facility. So that way if you need to breastfeed or want a little more privacy breastfeeding, I don't care where you breastfeed, you can breastfeed wherever you want. But if you want a little more privacy or if you want somewhere to kind of cool off, have a nice place to change your children's diapers. It's an awesome resource for families with young kids. The second attraction I'm gonna to talk to you about is just that you can actually meet the Sesame characters. They have them out and about sometimes inside of the kitty area. You can actually have your kids go and meet Elmo, which is pretty fun. The slightly bigger coaster that your kids could go on is a roller coaster called Sand Serpent. This is just a wild mouse. Um, but it's kind of fun for kids if they're starting to think about getting into some of the bigger coasters. My kids really like wild mice, wild mouses. I don't care for them much, but my kids like them because there's not a bunch of big drops. It kind of just goes along the top and the little drops all the way down. The number four kitty attraction I want to talk to you about is the Sky Ride. And apparently, the Sky Ride takes you across the Serengeti of Bush Gardens and you can see all of the animals from up top. But it was closed when we went. But this will be an awesome ride for kids to be able to go on because you can see all of the animals, but if they're a little nervous about animals, they can be up higher where it's not as intimidating. Awesome thing that they have at Bush Gardens, which I've never seen this anywhere else, is something called the Animal Care Center. And they post like a sign letting you know if there's a veterinary procedure going on and then you can go in and watch behind the glass. You can watch them perform these procedures and my daughter who wants to be like a groomer and a farmer and a veterinarian would have absolutely loved that. And so if your kid is interested in animals at all and taking care of them, this is a really, really cool thing that I haven't seen done anywhere at zoos, at SeaWorld, nowhere. Like this is pretty unique. My number six kitty attraction to tell you about is something called the Cheetah Run. They do this around 2 or 2.30 in the afternoon, I think. You should double check the time. But sometime in the afternoon, then they will bring the cheetah out and have it run back and forth. And they do this to like keep up the cheetah speed. But it's really cool and I realized I never had actually seen a cheetah run. And um, so that's just on the walkway. So you kind of have to know where to look for that. But go to the cheetah enclosure and they should have a sign posted that will tell you when the cheetah run is going to happen. And that's a pretty cool thing to watch. The number seven 
kitty attraction I want to talk to you about is the Congo River ride and this one we went on it and I, it was really fun but I realized there wasn't a whole lot of drops on it and so then I was like I wonder how old you have to be to ride this ride and you only have to be three years old or at least 42 inches tall I think you have to have both so you're you have to be three years old and you have to be at least 42 inches tall but it is a fun fun family ride so measure your kids see if they can go on this because it was it would be a lot of fun with your whole family number eight attraction at bush gardens is the tiger trail and they have this place where you can walk through and see a whole bunch of african animals you can't see all of them but like the more dangerous ones i guess are the ones that they have on this tiger trail so they've got tigers and lions and hyenas and they're pretty up close and personal and in one of the places you can like crawl up like a little groundhog hole and there's glass around you and you can be inside of the enclosure when i did that there wasn't actually a tiger in the vicinity so could have been a lot cooler but um, so that's definitely something that kids would really love and a fun unique piece to bush gardens so they have a whole great big safari at bush gardens and my number nine kitty attraction that you should go on is the train and the train will take you right through these and for the most part it was kind of like lackluster there wasn't a whole lot of animals very close but for this one brief shining moment then the zebras ran right by our train and that was amazing and so if you <laughs> so if you want to see wildlife and not pay the steep insider tours upcharge you can ride the train and you might have a cool up close experience like that. I can't promise that that will happen every single time, but it does give you the opportunity to see the animals at a closer range. My number 10 tip is the insider tours. We didn't actually go on one ourselves, but you can pay for an interaction with the animals. I don't usually advocate for upcharges just because I hate that, but... <laughs> But it does give you a chance to see the animals up close, one-on-one, -on -one, talk with the trainers. It is a cool thing and I understand why they have to have an upcharge because otherwise everyone would want to do it. So I think it would be a really cool thing. Here are all of the tours that we saw available when we went. It looks like a really cool experience. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That really helps out our channel. It helps us grow. If you have any additional tips and tricks, make sure to comment below. We wanna help make sure everyone has the best family experience possible when they travel. Also, you can check out our family travel vlog. It's called Taylor Tadpoles. There will be a link at the end of this video. Thanks so much.